everybody, it's Kevin and Brian with Inspiring How You See That. We're the channel that talks about all different kinds of music and entertainment, and we interview some of your favorite artists. And today we just kind of wanted to have another sit-down chat and talk to you about, you know, some of our experiences with VIPs and meet and greets and maybe what to expect with some of those. Yeah, I mean, it's just not to some of the ones that we've done, but we wanted to talk about some of the ones that we've been sent, Yeah, you know, from uh, bands and entertainers and Or comedians. fans telling us about what their experience was. Exactly. So it's kind of like a, just a little bit of a segment of a conversation mm -hmm. on some of the experiences and some of the things, too, to help you guys out there that haven't had a VIP experience um, or behind the scenes, behind the stage, meet and greet, whatever it may be. You yeah. know, it all depends on that VIP, what they call it, VIP experience. You know, I mean, they're all different. Um, so we, we just kind of wanted to pass off some of this information to them, right? Yep, absolutely. So what we're going to talk about is, it, you know, this is 2022. There's a lot of, uh, you know, bands doing a lot of different things. And, of course, we always mention bands because that's our main uh, focus point. We always talk about uh, we love music, and this is our, you know, uh, big thing that we always like to focus on. Yeah. Um, but there's also like celebrity chefs have meet and greets. Comedians have meet and yeah, greets. Yeah, we love to do yeah. that too. Don't, don't get me wrong, yeah. but we, we wanted to kind of talk a little bit more about the music today and some of the things that we see that we yep. that you know viewers like yourself are sending to us and keeping in contact with us and even bands are keeping in touch with us and saying, hey, we have this meet and greet or we have this VIP acoustic or we have this private uh, session that we're doing before the show or we'll let you in before the show. So those are some of the things that we want to mention. Yeah. So it makes me think of, like, when we saw Star Set not mm -hmm. too long ago in Cleveland. What was cool is not only did you get all of that, but you also, they gave us pizza, but it was, there was an actual full show. I mean, they performed probably at least half a dozen songs. And you're five feet away. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was really cool. It was, the entire band was there. It was very, it just kind of, it, it felt natural. It just felt relaxed. And it was awesome, and I, I love that. Well, it's kind of like when, when in, you and I both do this a lot, where we go into other venues, and they're small venues, and you may just have a guitar player that's just sitting up there, or a violin player, or somebody just doing an acoustic set on their yep. own, and it's relaxing. Yep. You just go there, and you just kind of mellow out, and just listen to the music, and you can just kind of relax. Yep. So those are you know some of the VIP things that we've experienced, but we want to share with you guys what one way to look at this and to get these VIP experiences, I know sometimes we've we've even had some difficulties in finding them. Yeah. Make sure that you, if it's a band that you really like, they always put either a shout out on their Facebook, um, Instagram. Of course, now there's TikTok. There's many other social platforms, but check out their platforms. Yeah, especially if, if, if they have a full website. That's usually where you can find like VIP packages because yeah, you're right. I mean, sometimes yeah. like if you get a ticket through Ticketmaster or what, yeah, it's not necessarily going to give you. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's I mean, another good point. If you can get a ticket expensive. directly from the uh, the artist, yeah. do that. Yeah. You're going to pay less and you're going to have a better experience. Yeah, and that's what we always want to stress. It's not that we're putting down like right. Ticketmaster and the other tick, but what we what we always appreciate is giving back to that band exactly when you're when you're purchasing through Ticketmaster you're getting all these added extra fees the bands or the entertainer or whoever it may be isn't getting a dime exactly you know the, uh, and all these extra fees they might get a percentage of the ticket but it's very low yep and if you can purchase right through them as Brian was saying it, it's sometimes on their website and we've contacted them sometimes through their their Facebook messaging and they also have that on the venue yes. please contact us through this this and this so do look for that mm -hmm. because um, you can get that experience, and they only offer. I was going to say, do it early. Don't and, wait till the last minute, or it's too late. Yeah, and and again, that's why we're putting this out there to help you guys yep. because it's it's something that we we love to see and we love to support the bands, and these are some of our bands that we really like. Yep. And we want to experience that. Yeah. So we want you guys to experience the same thing. If there's a band out there and you just can't find this experience and you're like, oh, I want, I can't find a VIP, I can't... Reach you know, out to them. Yeah, even if you just send them a message, they they do have their own little private, you know, acoustic mm -hmm. sets or they might just come up and talk to you or, yeah. you know, whatever you may want to chat about. They, I know they're really busy when they get there, but they do, if they offer it, they have that time where they try to sit it aside maybe a half hour for... Yeah. 25 or 30 people 
But as Brian said, do it quickly. Yeah. Because <laughs> you don't want to wait. It's a limited. It's a limited and, number. And, and and two points. And and you you brought up a good point. It's like these artists, for the va- vast majority of them, they want to meet you. They want to talk with you. And this is the perfect opportunity to do that. Not only that, like we've talked about in other videos, this is something that helps artists out. You know, mm-hmm. you're paying a little bit extra, but it goes directly to them. They're not all wealthy. I know people think that, but they're not. A lot of times, they're doing this because they literally need gas money to get to the next show. Mm-hmm. And so if you get the VIP package, they love it, you love it, and you're really helping them out. And you know, if you love a band, and the other point I want to make is you don't have, don't do this for every band. You know, do this for the ones that you really like. You yeah, know, I mean, kind of save up the extra for there. that. Yeah, we're not putting this out there to make you feel obligated. Like, exactly. Hey, we're going to a show. You know, my friends invited me. We got to purchase a via. You know, if it's so a, like, eh. <laughs> it's a, if it's a band you, or entertainer, whatever it may be that you really like and support, I would say go for it. You yeah. only live once, man. You exactly. Know, you know, go have fun. Go experience that that level. Um, and as you were saying, it's not only helping the band with gas and drive, but the bands are just like probably like you or I out yeah. there that just need that experience. They and want to talk the intimate experience yep. to talk. You know, hey, so these are some of the things that we've we're, we're having here, and you know, they like to talk to their fans, yeah. and they like to also hear maybe some of the difficult things that you've gone through. But how did their music help you? Exactly. That, that's why they write music. That's exactly. why they write these things, and they they love that. And yeah. we've talked to many bands, and that's one of the things our channel's about is getting out there and overcoming things and talking about things. So not only is the the VIP experience in some of them, you can talk to them. But, mm-hmm. of course, you know, don't hold us to that because some right. of them, there's a lot of, you know... And like, remember, they're people and respect that. You yeah, know, respect so, their private, respect their, you know... Well, not just that. It's the sometimes they might sell 200 of these and they only have an hour before yeah, the show. Yeah, so don't so, take offense if you're kind so of rushed. If they can't talk to you and have a full-on conversation, you know, don't don't be disappointed. But there are other times where they might have a different thing. As we talked in one segment about Patreon, they may have a thing where they, mm-hmm. they sit down and they have an, you know, a, a, a chat with you for a five-minute chat, yep. part of their Patreon. Um, and then you can talk about that. Yep. So and, You know, I, before we go, one that I... One artist that just popped to mind, and we both were there, that I thought was one of the best meet and greets, was Lacey Stern. Mm-hmm. When, when we went and met her, and she was like just the nicest, sweetest person. And you could tell she loved meeting her fans. Because it wasn't just a, hey, how are you, thanks. She was taking time with every single person. And her husband was even like, man, if she had two hours, she would spend two hours oh, yeah. talking there. And you could see that was true. And so you actually get to see a little bit of their personality. And that's, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I like that uh, that meet and greet too. It was fun. It was great, and yeah, we we've been to many that have been you know great artists out there, and they just want to you know if they could talk to you longer, I'm sure they would. And it's memories we'll talk about in 30 years. Mm-hmm. You know, yep. So take that time, save up if you can, look into it. Don't be afraid to reach out to that Absolutely. artist, entertainer. Like, you know, exploring, like with Josh Gates, and yeah. he's coming to town, you know, to do a, a segment on, you know, some of the areas that he's been at, or maybe doing a, a show or something, you know, take that opportunity, go in and message him, say, hey, you doing a meet and greet, are you doing uh, any experience where we could come in and chat with you? Yeah. We'd love to, and they they love to do that. Absolutely. So, down in the comments, let us know what you think of this, and let us know maybe some of the cool VIP experiences that you guys have had. We'd love to hear those stories and share them with everyone. And until next time, thank you guys so much for spending this time with us. We love you all. God bless and rock on. See you next time.